Now let's dive into this section of my makeup collection. On the top here, I have two uh, empty acrylic uh, holders. And then we have two faux candles that I purchased at Dollar Tree. And then here we have our uh, nail file and tweezers uh, from Sally Beauty. Then, of course, my little spiritual plaque. And then we have these here cups here. Sonia Kashik, these makeup brush cu cups, and then you have um, my backup Mario Badascu, my backup MAC setting sprays, my backup Urban Decay uh, setting sprays. You have my uh, backup brush, not brush, uh, sponge and wedges in here, and then we have. Um, my bronzers, my concealer draw, my liquid lipstick draw, my highlighter draw, my drugstore um, uh, blushes, uh, my facial powders, and this is a backup of miscellaneous things here. I'm going to go through each draw individually. Okay, now we're getting ready to uh, look at my... Uh, bronzing palettes, bronzer palettes, and the first one is by Pure Cosmetics. Then I have two uh, Golden Soleil by uh, J Cat, and this one is in Bora Bora, and this one is in Cancun Golden Tanyan. This Bora Bora is gorgeous. See, that's gorgeous bronzer. And then I have uh, a lot of physician formulas. Physician formula. And I'm gonna try to rush through this because I really don't want this video to be too long. Another physician formula. Position for me. And this is one of the brands that I started off with, which is City Color. But look how gorgeous this is. Look how beautiful that is. That is so nice. And then we have Temp 2. Temp 2. Then I have a LA Color, and these are two Maybellines. And for a person that don't hardly wear bronzers, I sure have a lot. And then these are my uh, Black Radiant bronzers. Pretty vulgar bronzer. Uh, then I have my e.l.f. bronzing kit, just that, and this one by Pure Cosmetics, which I think this one came in a boxy charm. That is nice. That is so beautiful. And then uh, Beauté Basics. That's gorgeous. I don't think I've used this yet, though. And then we have a Wet n Wild. This is a uh, mineral powder. Then I have two Elf. And then I have my Anastasia. And then I have my Laura Geller. And then I have my backup of my Chocolate Soleil. My Too Faced. And this is just my backup. Well, the one I'm using. 
now and then the little baby one what is this one is this one is the natural bronzer sun bunny which is that okay that will conclude my uh <clears throat> excuse me my uh bronzers now we're moving on to the next draw. These hip brushes are just for color correcting. And I like it that, you know, uh, on the uh, end of it, it has what colors that you need to use. So these are my color correcting brushes. These are just uh, some unused uh, sponges. I have uh, Tarte Real Technique Pure uh, sponges right here. And then these wedges and, well, these here sponges in here, uh, these have been used, these here around here, the wedges and sponges have not been used. And this is just like my minis and wedges. And then we have my silicone uh, little sponges. Okay, we have the leopard print. We have the cute little bunnies. We have the cute flowers. And the little kitty cats. Now that will conclude that portion. Moving right along, we're going to uh, look at my concealers. Now for, you would think that I am a concealer lover, how many concealers I have, but it is what it is. Okay, yeah, my sh uh, shape tape, my makeup revolution, and this one is used for contouring. And then the shades that I use are C8, C11, and C10. Okay, you have my Milani, which this is a really, really good concealer here. I don't think they make this anymore. But this is really good. And this is in O2 Medium Dark. Then I have a Bare Minerals. This uh, Age Rewind. And these are the ones that I'm currently using. This F Concealer. And then these here True Match. I had picked these up at Ulta uh, because they was discontinuing those. So I picked these up, uh, my Ofra, and I used this here AOA for the first time yesterday. This is the peach, and I actually love this. This is wonderful, so I can't wait to try the other ones. And my Holy Grail or the LA Girl concealers, all of them. Well, the old formula. I don't like this new formula that they have out right now, but these are ones I'm using. These are my two Stiller. need to bring these back into rotation and I use of course this here to contour my uh, concealer and contour I mean correcting stick let's try that look uh, I have my Becca I have two physician formulas this is a mag, this is a tester right here for, uh, I don't know which one this is for. But then I have my two mag paint pots. One in Painterly and the other is South Oak Ochre. Then I have my Marc Jacobs. And this is my Holy Grail here. Uh, Time Bomb uh, by The Bomb and this is an After Dark. I think that's the name of it. Just before dark. I use this with everything. And uh, my uh, Milani color wheel, color corrective wheel. And this here is a sample of this here NC44 Studio Fix. This is the 24 hour uh, concealer. This stuff is wonderful. And hey, when you're talking about 
it stays on, it stays on. It's hard to get off. And then I got this here in BoxyCharm. See, I've been using the mess out of this one here. And I actually like it. Some of my sisters, they've been having uh, a hard time with their products uh, with BoxyCharm. I really hate it, but, you know, it is what it is. And then this color correcting from uh, City Color, which I haven't used this in a long time. And then this here concealer uh, uh, by Profusion. And these are just uh, some that I'm using also that are in rotation. Now, in this back area here, this is all of the stuff as I'm speaking I could be putting this back that I haven't used before now all of these here concealers here these are all LA girl now this is the old formula now this here was for my clients and I could still use it for my clients but I like the old formula so you know I put it in my little stash and this is also the old formula this is Shake and Bake by Pure Cosmetic. Oops, a concealer as well. Just messing up. And this is an Ofra Extra. And these are just backups of everything that I have. These are little backups. Uh, I have a, a orange concealer, and then this one here is in Toffee. So I can't wait to use this here by AOA. And then this right here is another backup. And then another backup of C11 by uh, Makeup Revolution. And then I finally got the uh, Super Size. And this is in a C8.5 by Makeup Revolution. Super Size. And then... Uh, these here concealers from ColourPop. All of these are from ColourPop. And that will conclude my concealers. And now we're going to look at my overflow uh, draw. This consists of a lot of mascaras, but this is basically uh, backup for me, my clients you know, uh, as gifts or whatever. So we're gonna first start with, this is all my primers in this hip area here. I got these backups. These are actually new, and this is supposed to be a dupe to my uh, Urban Decay. Uh, dupes to my, not dupes, I mean my Holy Grail. My Holy Grail, my Big Mama the large size and my extra one of the uh, hangover I, I mean a lot of people rave about the hangover it's okay you know it's it's not you know I still love my uh, all-nighter so so in this one here these are just little gifts you know for uh, clients or myself or whatever if I have to use it because there's a lot of minis cover FX you know Mac uh, prep and prime hangover little minis girl on cover FX tart and then we have a Becca and all of those are basically primers with the exception of um, this blush. And I'm trying to hurry up through this video because uh, you wouldn't believe it. The video was upside down. Part of it was upside down. So let's keep moving on. And this is my little minis of mascaras. So we got this here, and then we have all of these minis, nothing but minis in here, all these minis. 
I told my husband he's going to have to buy me another tripod because I can't keep doing this. Well, these are all my Too Faced. And I have so many Too Faced minis. Uh, the vendors had, uh, they did an event when I was working at Alta. And they just gave me goo gobs of them. Okay, we got uh, Tarte. We got Urban Decay. Uh, we have uh, Laura Geller. Laura Geller. Should be Smashbox. Yes, yeah, Smashbox. Tart again. Uh, Dior, which I didn't, I forgot I even had this here. This is Dior. Let's see. Dior. And then uh, this Superhero by It. Let's see, another Urban Decay Smashbox. So now let's go to the little section with my brow products and all of these are backups okay we have uh two uh dip brows which this is my one of my holy grails also but i'm i'm trying i'm finding dupes to this this one is in token this one is in medium brown which is what i use okay and we have two uh brow wigs one is in toe, I mean chocolate, and the other is in auburn. And we have a NYC bra uh, kit. I don't even know if they make these anymore, but I uh, use these here. Those are really good. And then we got ColourPop uh, Bra Boss Gel. Uh, we have uh, Makeup Revolution uh, Duo Brow Definer. And I have two of those. So, and when I purchase stuff, I kind of purchase it in two different colors, you know, for for uh, the clients or myself. And then this here is uh, by Crop. And I think I had got this one here at uh, Marshall's. And then we have two Maybelline. Uh, this one is the brow pencil and this is the uh, brow highlighter. Okay, and I think this comes from BoxyCharm. This is a tantalizing taupe eyebrow cream. Uh, who this by? By Shella. But I think this comes in BoxyCharm. And then I have two uh, Essence. Yeah, brow uh, products. And then I have this Essence uh, eyebrow gel. And this kind of almost look like uh, my Anastasia. Now let's get to lots and lots of mascara. Oh, my Jeezy's. Mascara, 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 mascara. All of these mascaras. Okay, let's see what we have. We have Too Faced, the regular one, then Too Faced, the waterproof, which is my holy grail, which is becoming non-existence to me. I mean, I loved it, but as for some reason, it's not working well now. And then I have uh, Two Man Eaters by Tarte. Now, this is one of my holy grail, Illegal Lint. This is really nice. If you want length, try this here. Okay, then we got uh, It Superhero. Uh, Major Big by uh, Lancome. Buxom's Mascara. Smashbox. <coughs> Excuse me, Smashbox Mascara. Yeah, I'm suffering with bronchitis, so let me take a sip of water. Black Radiance. Butter London, and I think this came in my boxy charm. And then another smash box. Let's go over here to this mascara. 
And I'm going to put a couple of these mascaras in my giveaway because it's just too many. Too many. I love the mascara, but man. Okay, so we have a Milani, which I don't even know if they make this one anymore. Uh, I know this come in, uh, it's Wonder Beauty uh, Unlashed, and I know this came in BoxyCharm. Uh, we got another tart. Okay, we got something that I forgot about. This is Lancome's. Forgot about this here. Uh, we have L'Oreal. This is Carbon Black. This is a really, really nice um, mascara. Very good. And co these here mascaras, I like them. I love them. Now, I'm not going to say I like them. I love them. These are by Colormate. I purchased these at Dollar Tree. These are some really good mascaras. Okay, then I have a Too Faced uh, Lash Injection. Revlon, which I totally forgot about this here. And then we got another uh, L'Oreal, but this one is in Burgundy. Yes. Doing those dramatic looks. And this, I know I got this in BoxyCharm a couple of years ago. Blink, haven't opened this up yet. Another uh, Better, Better Than Sex. Yes, better than, oops, better than sex. My fat fingers was all over the place. Tart, isn't that so beautiful? Look at that. That is so gorgeous. Uh, Then, uh, what is it? Hakira, Hakira, whatever. And I know that came from BoxyCharm. Here's another one I didn't forgot that I had. Doll Lashes Hypnosis by Lancome. Forgot about this here. And another Black Radiance. And this is a infallible paint uh, pencil. Uh, and these here are just really for uh, face art when I want to use, uh, well, add some little character to my face. So that will conclude my miscellaneous draw. Now let's do the face powder. Now this is my holy grail, which is this is the Aerospun and this is the translucent extra coverage. And then I have it in honey beige, which I just really mixed this one here. And then I have my dermal blend. Oops. Is it focusing? And then I have a Sephora's setting powder i have makeup forever which i forgot about setting powder and then i have my bh studio pro setting powder and i use tinted which one is this one here uh golden that's the color i use golden and then I have another Holy Grail RCMA, which this will always be in my collection. And then I have this uh, Milani, which they don't sell this here anymore. This Milani setting powder. And this one is in medium dark. Uh, then I have my two Maybelline Fit Me. One is in medium deep and the other one is just in medium. And then I have my Bare Minerals Powder, and this one is in what well, it says Glow Brilliant. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't remember if I got this in grass or not. And these are some old uh, powders that I really need to use up. LA Color. What one is in medium, all of them should be in medium. Yeah, I have three of them. And then I have my uh, L'Oreal Eclat Total. And this one, I have not opened it up yet, but I have this one, this one that I've used, and then this one.
And then we have, let me put this there in here because I don't have much room. And I'm trying not to make as much noise. I got to remember uh, I have this here, this power. Okay. I have this banana deep, which I just purchased this one here not too long ago. And then because of my oily skin, this is Stay All Day Prime and <laughs> Stay All Day Prime and Anti Shine Balm. I know my hand was probably all in it. <sighs> Let's see. I really need to see. Well, I'm not gonna open it, but these are my backups that I have on that. And then I have this luxury pot in, in banana. I got these when they first came out. And then, uh, what is this one? This is lace. And then this here, Ofra powder. Okay. Physician formula. And that's how that one look. Oh, I forgot about this Milani. See, I need to I need to go through my stuff. Let's see. That Milani. Yeah, I really need to use that. Don't look like I touched it. And these here are physician formulas also. Physician formula. And then my city. Oh, I haven't even opened this. <laughs> city Color Flawless Finish Mineral Powder. And this is in Buff. But that's how that look. And then I have my Elf Under Eye Setting Powder. Right here. And that will conclude my setting powder draw. Now what I'm going to do, I didn't change the way I'm doing it because I cannot go through all of these here highlighters. But I have a Wet n Wild uh, Crayon Case, uh, BH Cosmetics. I think I got this from um, BoxyCharm. What? I have uh, Artist Couture. Then I have this highlighter kit here by EBY Bella Bella Pierre Pierre. Okay, this is I hauled this recently. Let's see. Uh, these are all of my uh, Wet n Wild highlighters. I'm just getting them out here because, I mean, I don't want this video to be so long, which it seemed like it's going to be long. And then this here one here. Uh, this my, I love this here, this brick. And I love Make a Revolution's brick, too. That. Let's see. Those are uh, all of uh, Juvia's Place highlighters. These here highlighters are Make a Revolution which I'm not going to go through all of those. Okay, and then I just did a haul on, well, not these here. These are ColourPop highlighters on these AOAs. So I'm not going to really go through all of those because I just did a haul on those. Then here go Physician Formula right here. And... Essence Nude, which this is a really good highlighter. Let's see. Then Sleek. Sleek. Uh, this is Makeup Revolution. Divots. All of those. 
and I have these here. This one matched the chrome. Let's see, these here are J Cats. J Cat, how, what is this? J Cat? No, hard. Yeah, J Cat. J Cat highlighters. Which are gorgeous. Look at that, how beautiful that is. Another Makeup Revolution. Uh, what is this? Did I show this? Okay, this is another ColourPop. And then my Milani's. Uh, boy, this here video is going to be something else. <laughs> okay, let's go back here. These are my stick highlighters, which I rarely ever use. Cream Stick Highlighters by LA Color. Okay, and this is another sleek highlighter. Let's see if I can open that up. Look how gorgeous that is with my thumbprint in it. Elf highlighter set. Elf. What is that? All of these are elves. That's another elf. And these are all my drugstore, of course. Uh, okay, let's see. This is NYX. And this is uh, Hard Candy. Let's see. Hard Candy. And then these are all of my NYX Illuminators. Let's see. This one is in... Uh, what is this? Ignagnet? Let's see. It's pretty pink. I'm not going to open up all of these here because... This video is going to be forever. Then this is another one in that color. And this one is in. Let's see. That. And that will conclude my drugstore highlighters. Now it's my drugstore blush drawer. Okay, I just got this in BoxyCharm. Got this in BoxyCharm one year. All of these here are NYX blushes. Sorry, I had technical difficulties with my phone. Well, these are my LA Color uh, blushes. My Black Radiance. All of these here are my Black Radiance. And then I have uh, Essence. All of those, and then a couple of Maybelline uh, Physician Formula, and these are all of my Milani blushes. Now we have my Elf in Maybelline. We have Old School L'Oreal. We have Fifth Physician Formula. You have Wet n Wild and ColourPop. You have Sleek. You have my Kiko, and then you have my uh, City Color. And this is another wet and wild. And um, this uh, this is a palette right here. Let me try to get it. This is a sleek uh, palette here. I love this here palette. And here's another one. Uh-oh. Stuff all over my hand now. And this is another sleek blush palette. And now we have my Wet n Wild and my City Color blushes, my NYC, and now we have all of my NYX blushes. Okay, and these are my Old School Rimmel. And I forgot about my old school Milani. I love these. I sure hope they're still good. 
a L'Oreal, and this is all of my Makeup Revolution. And then I have, what is this, a Makeup Revolution palette. Let me get the other one. Uh oh fingerprints and well thumb print and this one now that will conclude my uh, drugstore blushes okay this is the last acrylic draw which is my liquid lipsticks in here and I'm definitely not gonna go over all of these liquid lipsticks in here of course these are my Anastasia's this is all of my Urban Decay here. All of these are my Urban Decay. And right here, I think these are drugstore. Yeah, this is Maybelline. A lot of Maybelline. And this right here is uh, my Lorac. All of these are Lorac. And this, what is this here? Uh, these are Anastasia lip glosses. The black lids are Anastasia lip glosses. Let me stand up. Then we have, you know, the Ofra. What is this? Buxom. It's a lot of different ones. Stella. A lot of different liquid lipsticks. And here... We have uh, Lorac as well, and then a lot of Stila. I got these here when I first uh, started doing makeup. And right here, of course, is my Dose of Color. And then we have these here. And this is a lot. I know this one here comes from BoxyCharm. this these are my uh smash box and my nars up there this is not really show that this is one from boxy charm i think this is a recent boxy charm purchase well basically this is all of my liquid lipstick so i need to go on and end this here because this video is going to be too long said that these were all of my liquid lipsticks no these are all of my high-end liquid lipsticks i forgot to show the bite beauty but this is how they these colors look aren't these gorgeous now that will conclude my high-end liquid lipsticks